Hello everyone, welcome to Malik Jiva 34 channel. This is Malik Arjun. Starting from today, 22 June 2020, I am going to start with a new course in Oracle, Oracle Database Administration Workshop 1. In fact, Oracle Database Server Complete Understanding. This course is comprised of, uh, uh, you know, basically useful for uh, junior DBAs, freshers and, you know, experience, even experienced DBAs, where I am going to correlate uh, real life examples with uh, live demonstration uh, where uh, it will build your uh, basic understanding in Oracle database architecture as well as uh, administration. So this administration workshop guide is uh, uh, does not mean for any particular versions. You can once you are strong enough in this foundation and this administration course, you can apply these all concept in your any of database version or 12C or 18C or 19C. So the basic understanding is going to be uh, you know uh, same for all the architectures. If you are new to my channel, I request you to go back to YouTube, search for Malik Jio 34 channel and please do subscribe. If you like my videos, please share, like and comment. Uh, coming to the introduction for this course content, uh, you know, uh, if you see my screen here, uh, I am going to, uh, I am going to try to cover all the topics uh, uh, starting from uh, database architecture. I am going to uh, go inside and, you know, explain all the, uh, whatever the database architecture and its components. Uh, memory, background processes and storage, structure, how uh, you know everything is interrelated and how they are going to work out. And then preparing with the environment like installation of Oracle binaries, grid binaries and uh, database uh, uh, you know installation. And then uh, you know, third topic is creating a rack database and standalone database and managing uh, you know database instances, uh, again rack instances and standalone instances. Uh, and then uh, managing ASM instances. Uh, the sixth course is configuration of your uh, network, listener and uh, TNS entries uh, and managing uh, storage structures, you know, how you can manage all your uh, read logs, control files, data files uh, and then everything I'm going to cover in that. And uh, chapter 8, uh, administration of uh, users and security, how you can build your uh, user level security and database level security, uh, you know, all those uh, auditing perspective I'm going to cover and managing the data concurrency, how you can manage your data concurrency if you are working with a, a rack, uh, you can say acid properties, uh, I'm going to cover everything and then how data internally uh, moves between the racks and how data internally uh, retrieved uh, to the buffer, to the data file and to the data file from the buffer, uh, versa versa, look, everything I'm going to cover there. And then I'm going to cover a special topic on undo data management. Undo is a, a special data, like uh, if you're especially working with rack, so undo you have to take care with the extra, you know, uh, uh, extra precaution that that has a special advantage and that is uh, one of the uh, critical part in our database. So I'm going to cover uh, undo in in details and uh, implementing database audit. Uh, database audit. I'm going to show you live demo how you can implement in any of the database. Uh, auditing is a must. Uh, you know, you have to control who is doing what kind of activity and which user has what kind of privileges. Everything you know, controlled by auditing. I'm going to control database audit as well as OS audit in that. And then database maintenance. So how you can do database maintenance like uh, starting with the patching and bug fixes and tracing the uh, uh, you know issues and errors how you can troubleshoot everything i'm going to uh, cover in that database maintenance and then performance management uh, how you can uh, improve your database performance management what are the tuning parameters uh, what are the sql advisors what are the indexes like you know um, and then everything i'm going to cover all in one in this database performance management and then backup and recovery so uh, what are kinds of backup hot backup cold backup parman backup level 0 backup level 1 backup everything i'm going to cover in this backup and recovery concept and performance you know performance improvement factor whatever performance improvement factor for your you know backup and recovery so i'm going to uh, you know tuning parameters especially working with armens i'm going to cover everything in performance uh, data uh, you know performance tuning in database backups and uh, similarly performance tuning at, uh, at database recovery and then uh, moving data uh, you know if you want to uh, migrate cross platform migration or uh, uh, migrating from one server to other, another server or upgradation from one server to other server uh, everything i'm going to cover uh, in the in the moving data uh, that not only includes uh, rmen it, it also export import uh, all other utility i'm going to cover there and then uh, finally working with a support team, uh, how support SRs work and how support resolution we can get, how to uh, troubleshoot uh, issue, how to uh, search a bug in particular mass document and how to log into mass portal and then how to uh, search for a 
particular issues everything i'm going to cover with this uh, support uh, working with the support so this course is basically contains uh, you know uh, a to z understanding with the uh, with the perspective of the database administration and uh, uh, a strong foundation to the database architecture level so i request everyone to please stay tuned and then uh, watch all my videos uh, if you like my videos please do share like and comment thank you